Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a video on our Reading Royals killing it this weekend after taking three or four from the Wheeling Nailers, beating the Indy Fuel, and sweeping the first place in the entire league, not just their division, Toledo, Wadley, and maybe a preview of the Kelly Cup. Before we go on, please you can subscribe down below or up above on the Easy to Use widget. Thank you for helping us reach the goal of 200 by the end of February. Let's go for 215 by the Ides of March. Get it? 215 Ides of March? Um, so let's keep growing and get to 215 by the Ides of March. But when it comes to the Reading Royals, our Royals, I already talked about the first two games of the weekend in past videos if you want to check them out, but they absolutely smoked the Indy Fuel. That game was no contest. They took it to the Fuel the entire game. Logan Flodell played great. The team played great. Morrison, Gooch, and et cetera kept their hot play going. And Trevor Gooch has been electric three straight games with two goals and six straight games with a goal. I mean, this dude has been a blessing, the goal-scoring leader of the team, and he's only played, I think it's in 29 games, Ryan Bizarro tweeted the great Ryan Bizarro, congratulations to him too for about to graduate from Penn State, by the way, so big uh, congratulations and claps up to him, but uh, the Reading Royals, back to them, then on Saturday, that was a small scoring game throughout, Kirk McDonald talked about it on the Lions Roar with Eric before going into yesterday's game on Sunday that he thought that was a feeling out process because um, in Toledo, they're very, very, very big hockey town. Believe it or not, they're a team that has the probably the biggest, if not, no, I would say the biggest ECHL support system where they're sold out. They feel like, he even said it, an NHL arena because, yeah, you don't have the same amount of people, but it's a more enclosed environment, obviously, so it's loud as hell when you have that many people in a packed barn in the ECHL. Um, on Saturday, Brandon Schultz was the only guy able to get a goal for the Wally as Gooch scored, Mason Millman scored the tr key goal, Gooch scored on an empty net, and Dominic Cormier scored a very good goal as well after scoring himself the night before just kind of finessing himself through the Indy Fuel's defense to be able to get that goal. And then on Sunday, our Reading Royals, they seemed prepared from Saturday. As Kirk McDonald said, they were kind of shell-shocked in the first period Saturday. They seemed to completely adjust and prepare from that um, to be able to come into Sunday, score 658 in with a beautiful pass to Morris, and then low scored on a nice rebound goal. Then Gooch scored through the wickets late in the first. Then Gagnon scored on a power play in the second, where in this game, the Wale did not have any goals until pretty much garbage time. Um, uh, How to Shell scored at 1647 in the third, and Brandon Hawking scored at 1816 on a deflection goal. Um, so that was really a game that the Royals controlled from point A to point B, and they played so many hockey in so many days. I saw one of our fantastic photographers, Sarah, uh, tweeted about how tired she was. Also, by the way, great picture she takes, so definitely um, check her out. Uh, but like she tweeted how tired she was covering all the games, taking pictures at all the different sites. Imagine how tired the players are. And that's kind of the way I look to it. It looked like this team, I said it all season, resilience, perseverance, and stick to are literally the makeups of this team. And they played so many games in so many days, they have to get ready for that because once um, the, the end of March hits, they have that ridiculous stretch of 8 and 10 at home. And they already proved that against a top team in the league, a very good Wheeling Nailers team, and a not good Indy Fuel team, but a team you still got to respect, that they can play so many games in so many nights. Our Reading Royals are massively trending in the right direction. Check out the show I did with Hector at the beginning of the week, and we still talked about how we believe they're Kelly Cup uh, contenders, and Hector called that all the way back in November or the beginning of December, whenever it was, when I first had him on my show. So he's been on this for a while. I also think the Royals are a top contender in the league, and they just proved it by beating the Wale, sweeping them in the weekend series. And also, another guy I have to shout out before the end of this, other than the Trevor Gooches, the Cormiers of the world, the McNallys, Lowe's, the Chars, and all those guys that continue to do um, smashingly well in the Bicarbs and Pritchards, is Logan Fladell. Logan Fladell has been great since we brought him in last week. Again, like I said in that trade video, I love Cam Strong. I think Cam Strong is going to do great things in the ECHL and maybe work his way up to the AHL someday. But I also think Logan Fidel is a goaltender that has the ability to 
do great things in the ECHL and work his way up to the AHL someday. So you have to trade good for good, and that's what they did. And Fladell has been very good since coming in for a Reading Royals. Everybody have a great safe and pleasant day. This has been the latest edition to the Royal Take. I'm supposed to have super fan Hector on again tomorrow. We're supposed to be recording something tomorrow afternoon if technology serves us right. Everybody have a great safe and pleasant day. Stay safe out there, everybody. And also, um, <clears throat> say this at the end of the video as well. Um, love and support sent to people that are Ukrainian and the people of Ukraine during this difficult time. Stay safe out there, everybody, and enjoy the hockey.